Right, so I am not a technical Minecraft player. So, what if I tried to make an iron farm? I know just enough to where I can make an iron farm, probably, but I don't know enough to where I can make a good iron farm. I think you make it above the ground, because if you make it above the ground, the iron golems will not spawn on the ground. That means they can spawn where we want them to. I think how an iron farm works is that you have a villager. From what I remember when I see iron farms, normally the villagers have a bed. Also, this is entirely from memory. And then you have a zombie, which will scare the villager, but the zombie has to be named. Let's go and name a, a zombie to don't Despawn, please, Mr. Zombie. Thank you. There we go. Then I think we can put our zombie right here. I... It's a baby. I don't know if it's supposed to be a baby, so I'll get a new one that is not a baby. Also, it's the 15th anniversary, and so I have a party hat. I, I guess I didn't explain that. <laughs> anyway, the zombie, I think, scares the villager. Go scare him. Scare him. Wait, now you're gonna burn. Why is he not burning? Well, now he's burning. So I put down a new zombie with the same beautiful name, then built a platform above, so maybe an iron golem will spawn, but he doesn't seem to be very scared. I'm not sure how to make the villagers scared. Does it have to be night? Well, he's just gonna sleep now, isn't he? He did not, in fact, sleep, but if I was in a glass cage suspended above the ground with a rotting corpse trying to eat me while a flying person watched me, I don't think I'd want to sleep either. Setting it to night did not help. Do something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well. Well, that's a shame. New villager. The village is not scared, though. I'm assuming I maybe have to have more than one villager. It probably has to count as a village, doesn't it? Whatever it is I did here, didn't work. So I started anew. We have a platform. The zombie cannot get to our platform. And then, on this platform, we'll just have a bunch of beds. And I think the iron golems won't be able to spawn on the beds. And I haven't seen an iron farm do this, so I'm probably... I'm revolutionizing iron farms right now. We summon a villager for each bed. We put some guardrails so they don't push each other off. Also, I don't know why they're sleeping, considering it's day. And now we can put a zombie to scare these guys. Okay, they, they look scared. I got them! Oh, I did it! I did it! Okay, 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 hang on. If I put slabs, they- iron golems probably can't spawn on slabs. Also, this platform is in a bad location, I might move this. So we have our platform with the villagers, then we have our zombie, which I'm gonna start color coding this. So green concrete is for zombies. I'm not sure if iron golems can spawn on glass, because if they can, then oh no. Also, hang on, there's a villager missing. A villager must have fallen down. Also, there's vill a bunch of villagers down there from previous experiments, but we're just going to ignore them. I'm sure they're fine. They're living their best life down there. I think we make a platform right above them, and then we can color code that with white concrete for iron golem. And then if I get water, we put some side, we put some corners to this. Oh, hang on, they iron golems are going to be able to spawn here. <laughs> if I do slabs like this they shouldn't be able to spawn on these slabs i'm just gonna i'm gonna close this off for now if i put water there and then i also put water here that flows down this way so if i break these blocks and then i make this go down by a block so this border by the way is going to make sure the iron golems can't escape but also make sure that the water can't escape. So if I break these blocks, the water all flows to this point here. So now, if we extend this further, I'll use orange because this is the way to the killing chamber. It's not the killing chamber, the killing chamber will be red, but it's the way to the killing chamber, so it can be orange. Oh, hang on, iron golems are wide, so we're gonna need more space than this. I think we just make the killing chamber literally right here. If I replace this with fence gates, like so, we open these fence gates. Now, hypothetically, our iron golems, they'll spawn somewhere here. They'll very slowly get pushed down over these fence gates, and then they fall down. Then I went to build the killing chamber and I wanted to use lava because that's what I remember iron farms using. But then I realized that fence gates might be flammable, but because I have to do everything from memory, I can't look up whether or not they are flammable. So to be safe, I replace them with signs because I know signs aren't flammable, despite also being made of wood. Minecraft is a very realistic game. If we get lava and we place it in there, so they get pushed down, they fall in the lava here, and I'm only two blocks tall, 
But they're about three blocks tall, so their head will be in the lava. And then we can grab some hoppers, and we'll make the hoppers the floor here. And then the hoppers go into some chests, and we can even put some- we, I mean, we won't need this much storage, because it's not going to be very efficient. Now, if we get a zombie... Oh, I got rid of my special zombie name. Okay, we're gonna need to rename this zombie spawn egg again. Zombie that will make the iron farm work. Pog. Okay, we place in our zombie. They're scared. They summon an iron golem! Let's go! He falls in. He's fallen in. He's burning. He's burning. It's gonna take a while for him to burn. But then, his items should go into the hopper and we should see them in one of the chests. One of the chests here will have- Oh, hang on, I have mob drops turned off. <laughs> hang on, I gotta turn- Game rule, do mob loot. True. I have, to I have that turned off so that when I kill something it doesn't drop items, but obviously when you're making a farm you want the items. They don't seem to be very scared of the zombie. Well, they do seem to be scared, but they're not summoning an iron- Oh, they did! They summoned another iron golem! Waiting for the golem to die. I've sped it up because it takes a while. And then his items should... They're right here! They're right here! Okay, wait, this is a working iron farm. This is- I've made a working iron farm. I want to make it better, though. This can definitely be better. So firstly, can villagers see through glass? I don't think they- okay, villagers cannot see through glass, so this has to be open space. But I'm thinking... Well, if I just open that up in time- oh no! Oh no! Oh, they- I should have foreseen that. If I do like this, and then put our zombie in the middle like that... So now the zombie can't escape. The villagers are all scared. If I put a fence like this, does this stop them from seeing the zombie now? I think it does. Yeah, they're no longer scared, so I can't put a fence there. But I don't want them to bump each other out. So if I put a fence here... Oh, the thing is, they can probably walk on top of this fence, which is the problem. If I- Oh my god, how can we make the villagers not fall out, but also still see the zombie? Because this doesn't work because they're on top of the bed, so then they can just go- Because it's like a- well, right there, they can do that. If I do a fence, but then I put something here, essentially, how this works is they can see through this gap, I, th I think. I think they can see through this gap, but then the fences stop them from being able to actually move. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think the fences are irrelevant. I think it's just these blocks that matter. So I copied that to the other sides and put in another zombie. Right, so I've killed all the villagers, because I want to just spawn in the maximum amount of villagers that I can have again. I don't know if more villagers helps. Do more zombies make it more efficient? Because I can probably whack another zombie just here. Unfortunately, it's going to be off-center, because it's a two-block center on this side. But this is a farm. It's for it's it's for functionality and not, not for looks. I'm going to need to rename this, so I'm going to rename it. Scary zombie, you should totally spawn an iron golem right now. Okay, well, that, that's all that fits. And I think they're scared. Yeah! In hope of increasing efficiency, I removed the two zombies on the long sides and replaced each of them with two zombies. So now each long side has two zombies, meaning that there are five zombies in total. Will that help? Maybe. I... I don't know. <laughs> These villagers should be terrified. They're not nearly as scared as I thought they'd be. However, I think they're, they're spawning golems. If we look, we've made- hang on, wait! Wait, I've made an actually decent iron farm. We've already got 42 iron. I thought this would be like one iron an hour or something. I've made an actually decent iron farm. <laughs> I did- I didn't think I'd make something actually good. I mean, it probably is not as good as like- as farms that actual people who know what they're doing have made. But it works pretty well! It works way better than I thought it was going- I thought- I thought this video was gonna go horribly, but it's gone way better than I expected. If you ignore the fact that it looks incredibly bad- Oh, there's another one already! I've made a decent iron farm! How have I done that?! How have I done this?! I... I didn't know I had it in me to make a- a decent iron farm. I mean, I'm in, I'm in disbelief. If there's another farm you want to see me try to make, comment it down below. So, I hope you enjoyed. Leave some feedback in the comments. Goodbye! Or, or, what?
Oh, second go. Ah, burning. Ah, I'm bur Oh, now I'm fine. Well, that guy's not. I. Oh! I genuinely expected this video to turn out a lot worse. I expected to be there for at least an hour, but the recording was actually less than an hour. And also the farm actually worked at least moderately well, which was entirely unexpected. Anyway, bye, 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 go, the video's over.